let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. And today we are going to talk about Facebook polls. Have you ever heard the expression, ask your customer what they want and then give it to them? Well, you might have the next question, which is, uh, how in the world do I do that? Well, I'm going to show you a way, and we're going to keep it really, really, really basic today. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information that you go, oh my gosh, I can't do that, because this is something you absolutely can do. Um, it needs a little bit of thought, and actually, I'm going to share this book with you today, um, just a few segments of it, but if you are a reader who is interested in upping your game as far as your business is concerned, um, this is the book. Because where your business will start and really start to thrive is when you know what it is your customers want. You probably are doing this and I know Max and I have, and that is saying, we know what they want. We don't need to spend the time to go out there and ask them. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. Well, it is worth every bit, every minute, every second you put into doing this because your customers are telling you what they want from you, not what you think they want, but what they really do want. And sometimes you have to prompt them along the way to get to the real reason or the real problem that they want you to solve for them. And one of the ways you can do that is with polls. So the reason I started out with Facebook as the first step for you is because number one, it's free. Number two, it's really easy. And in terms of getting some good quality information, if you really think it through and plan it out in advance, you can get some real value for, from this and then move on to a little higher level strategy. And I'll share with you in just a few minutes what that higher level strategy might be. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk you through and show you my screen and we're going to set up a fake <laughs> poll for you. Actually, I have created one that I'll show you first. So we're going to share my screen and I'm going to go to Planet Einstein Digital Learning Lab and show you the fake poll that I created. Then I'll show you how to do it on your computer. So here's the poll that I created. And first, before you create this poll, so let's just walk through this. So I told them first how long it was going to take them to actually take this little quiz. So I said, take this 30 second quiz to see how you're doing with getting new customers. And then I asked the question, when it comes to social media marketing, what is your biggest struggle right now? And I gave them two options and did that with GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it. The first one is, how to get customers is the answer to what is your biggest struggle right now? Because they're always saying no, right? Or the other answer is no time to learn. So you're saying uh, in answer to my question, Jackie, I just don't have time for this. So, I'm finding out from people I am polling, you know, what is their reaction to this question? So I put some thought into what I wanted to ask them with just one question right now. And what this will do is it will give me results 
And actually, I just put this up a little while ago. You can see I already have seven people reached and five people that engaged with it. So that's, you know, I posted it an hour ago. So I've already gotten you know, some response to it. People like to take polls, especially if they're a little fun. Um, and, and I really encourage you to use some GIFs or emojis to make it even more engaging. But if I go down here and look at this number of people that have engaged with it, Facebook won't tell me who those people are, but it will show many, show me how many people actually saw it and then how many people actually engaged with it. So let me show you that screen. So I know seven people have seen it. And I know that two people have liked or commented or shared it. Anyway, and I haven't had any negative feedback on it. Um, if you do, then that's not so good. You probably would want to take it down. Anyway, let's go in to Facebook and build a poll just for practice and follow along with me and I will show you how you can do this. So you would go to a business page, not your personal profile. You must have a business page to do this. And you would go into just exactly where you were going if you were going to put a post up. But you go to these three dots right here in the bottom left corner and click on those and it will bring up a where to write the post. So there's where you would address um, what you want to ask your people. Tell them, again, remember I said, um, you know, this take this poll, it'll take just seven seconds or however long it will actually take, but if it's just one question, it shouldn't take any longer than that. See where it has all the color backgrounds here? Well, there is a spot right here in the drop down that says poll, and that's what you want to click on. So click on poll, and it will bring up the screen where you can write out what text you want to say. So what do you want to know about your about your customer? At this point, what's a very basic question that will give you information that's of value? And one of the things that Ryan Levesque suggests in this book is that you start out with something to ask that has what he calls a low barrier of entry. You know, don't get too personal in terms of what you're asking them, but make it a question that is going to give you something in return and will help you understand your customer better. And I, I was thinking of a question, um, Holly, I don't know if Holly's on today, but Holly is a Reiki master. And Holly uh, probably would want to ask her potential customers um, something like, have you ever thought about having a Reiki treatment but didn't proceed? And her question could be, uh, what kept you from scheduling that appointment? And she would give them two options. So if she says, you know, why didn't you schedule the Reiki massage? You know, maybe it was they didn't know what it was. Or option number two was they had some kind of fear about um, going into something they didn't understand. Or it might be a yes, no answer. The answer question could be something like, um, have you ever done or considered Reiki treatment or Reiki massage before? And you could simply have a yes or no. And then you could attach a photo, you know, give the option, let's say our option is yes. So we could do either 
a photo that's a picture of somebody having a treatment on the table, or let me close that. We could go over to a GIF and say um, massage. Oops, let me spell it right. And have, okay, that would be a cute one. You know, have, uh, this little bulldog or whatever he is, pug, having a massage. Now that would get attention and people would notice it, like it, you know, respond to it. So our answer, except I think it put that on option two. So um, anyway, you're, let's go back to um, option one one here i need to put a gif there so let's do if it's yes um maybe somebody celebrating or somebody looking really really happy about how good they feel so let's see if we can find something like that so you put the topic you want so let's put celebrate so there's two ladies who just had a Reiki massage and they are thrilled because they are feeling wonderful. And here option two would be that the, our no answer, I don't know if it'll take it from here. Yeah, I think it will. Okay. And now we determine you know, who you want to share this with. Do you want this to go to your news feed? Are you ready to share it now or do you want to schedule it for some time later? So you determine that if you put schedule on here, then you will insert the date that it, you, you want it to go out and click on schedule and it will go out at that time. So basically, um, it's as simple as that, my friends. So start with really giving some thought to, number one, who do you want to see this message? You know, if you want to share it now with, you know, your news feed, if you want to turn it into a paid ad at some point, uh, you have the option to do that and start with a very, very, very basic, um, simple, you know, no resistance for people to actually go, okay, and well, I didn't write the question in there, but you will have had your question. You know, have you ever considered having a Reiki massage? And something else you could do um, that isn't complicated is if you want to add a link to, I don't want to get too technical on you, but to, let's say you have a scheduling uh, tool on your website, you could give them a link to your website that has the scheduling tool on it, that specific page, not to just your whole website, but to the page where you have your scheduling tool and insert that link here. Then you could say, if you're ready to schedule an appointment, then click here. My suggestion for the very, very first one that you do is don't try to sell yet. You know, keep it very light, very non-threatening, you know, not salesy at all. Just get it out there, gather the information, and then Facebook gives you a way to go back and retarget or to talk to those people again who responded. And then you would be ready after doing several of these and getting some very basic information and building um, potential customer list or at the very least a prospect list. Then you can move to some more complicated, or as I called them earlier, high level. And one of the things I wanted to show you, so I'll stop the share here and then go back to, actually, I think I'll go back to sharing my screen and move you to 
I'm going to show you another tool for um, making quizzes, for creating quizzes um, that I should have had up on my screen for you so I don't have to search for it. But, and I'm talking and trying to think at the same time, which is not always um, compatible, <laughs> talking and thinking. <laughs> Here is um, Deanna, if you're on here. Um, Deanna is the person, and she's in our pedal group, who shared with me the information about Interact. There we go. Interact, write that down, because if you want to invest in how to make a really, really good quality quiz, if you're beyond the just getting started stage with Facebook, here's something that really is a little more sophisticated, but it may be a little advanced for you at this point, but I just wanted to make you aware that there is a next level after you start with basic, simple, then you can proceed to the next level and interact. And, and there, this is not the only one there. Jonathan, if you're on here, I think you use a different quiz software program. So anyway, um, this is one option for you as we move forward. So let me stop share and come back on with if you haven't joined us on our pedal power group, uh, come on over. And I didn't put a link there, but you can find it by going, it's P-E-D-L-L, -L, Planet Einstein Digital Learning Lab. So that's how you can find it on Facebook. All righty, um, that just about does it for today. Uh, join me next week and we will be getting into a deeper dive with some more Facebook strategies and actually starting to look at content. Remember we did last week three ways to build our, actually it was five ways to build three months of content for your post, for your videos, for your blogs. So valuable content again next Thursday at two o'clock and I will see you then. So thanks for being here with me today.